Being racist now, very risky. You lose your job, you get ostracized from society, you make headlines. That's why if anyone's ever racist around you now, you know they trust you. It's kind of this weird, bittersweet moment, you know? You're on a smoke break with somebody, he's like, oh man, I can't stand Mexicans. You're like, holy hell, you're full of hate, but I didn't know we were so close. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I feel like racism and smoke are a lot alike, you know? Like in the 50s, everybody did it. Now we know it's bad, we're trying to cut back, but some people just can't quit. You know? <laughs> We should treat racists the way we treat smokers. Now you're at your day job, some guy's about to tell a racist joke, you're like, hey, take that shit outside, huh? <laughs> Just a bunch of guys out in the cold, huh? Oh, goddamn Jews, huh? <laughs> if I don't take those racist breaks, I get cranky. <laughs> and I go to restaurants, how you folks doing? You want the racist section or non-racist? Well, we've had a few drinks, better go racist. <laughs> All right, well, it's your funeral. The kitchen is heavily Hispanic. 